Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to my shop. You know, as I get closer to completing this model, I run down a pre-flight checklist in my head of every, every component on this model. Well, not just this model, but all 170 pieces or however many it turned out to be, of things that are, are they done 100%? Am I completely happy? And if you recall the video on this little part here, was accompanied by a demonstration on how we had only two threads of engagement on an 080 thread. The more I thought about that, the more I said, nope, that is not acceptable. So what can we do to rectify that? Well, let me show you. It should be pretty quick and easy. Since everything is on location, there's really nothing critical about it. Nothing critical about the repair. What I need to do is I need to move this surface this 093 deep surface right here, as close to this as physically possible. See, I can only get another 64 out of it at the most before it starts wanting to fracture. So, where's the solution? Well, the solution is right there in front of you. Let's get rid of all those numbers, show you a fresh drawing. This is what I plan to do. This is the length of engagement of the part that's currently sticking in there. That part right there. So yeah, it's kind of small, right? I want to bring this surface down as close as I can with as much strength as I can, so the logical solution is to counterbore it larger diameter put a washer in here with the through hole and now the screw head will sit right here and I will pick up all of this length of engagement to allow this to have a better secure bite now on this particular part, one of these holes has to be done from the top, one has to be done from the bottom. So it's two setups. And this is a 3 16th hole versus a 1 8 hole. So there's about 30 thousandths worth of bite on either side. And we're talking about the screw itself. <laughs> Hold your breath, don't blow that sucker off the table. There you go, there's the screw, there's the washer. There's the part. So we just got to make these holes, this one a little bit deeper, and this one a little bit deeper. So those washers fit in. I'm going to plunge it with a 3 16 end mill. That should be a piece of cake. Let's strap it down to the table, do both sides, put it together, and I'll show you what it looks like. Ooh, man. Strong breeze will take these parts off the bench. It's so light you can't even feel it. All right, over to the mill. Part is successfully loaded onto the fixture plate and there is a gauge pin in the drill chuck. I'm going to be putting the end mill in the drill chuck. This is a plunge operation with minimal load, no side load, so I'm okay with it. I line this up by eye with a jeweler's loop. And if you're curious about how well you are lined up, take a piece of paper over top of the hole and come down. The punch is a clean hole with no chads. You know you got it going on. I'm going to bring the spindle down, the quill down to a stop. I'm going to stay shy of the part. And I'm going to raise the table to be able to control the depth very accurately. While I'm raising the table, I'm applying a gentle pressure to the handle so that any flex in the setup is consumed and I'll get an accurate depth when I see the witness mark around the hole. Do it. Okay, with any kind of luck, the depth of the bottom of this hole is just shy of where the protrusion will come through from the half nut on the other side. The other side, the other hole is going to be identical to what you just saw. 
Let's put a piece in here, torque it down, see what it looks like. considerably more engagement that is a good thing love it now I can be happy with that I want to flip it over to the other side here this one here is for the lead screw that takes the table in and out on the y-axis and when that hole is put in there it will be covered up with the gib plate that holds the table down much better very pleased with that fix After the assembly, the length of engagement went from uh, 30 thousandths of an inch to 95 thousandths. So that's about one and a half times the diameter of the screw that's going in there. That was optimum. And as far as uh, number of turns, it went from 2.4 turns of engagement to uh, 7.6. So everything tripled up. I am very pleased with that. That was a worthy, worthy repair. Yes, you could have used a longer screw, but I didn't have longer screws, so I made do with what I had. And that's what I came up with. Anyway, thank you for spending some of your day with me today. That was a quick and dirty little fix, but it was the right thing to do. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you're well, happy, and safe. All the above, I am Joe Pye, Advanced Innovations in Austin, Texas. I'm out. <laughs>